Good morning, folks. I love it when plasma filaments erupt. When you get one that really has some twisting in mind, these can be far more spectacular than the CMEs from sunspot-driven solar flares. This one is not heading in Earth's direction, it's merely an aesthetic wonder. A quarter million kilometers of seething plasma lifts and releases a shockwave into space. Perhaps the most amazing feature is the post-release vortex that appeared. A tornado the size of Jupiter sticking up into the corona and then collapsing back down. Gets very tight in there. Crazy spin. Anyway, the solar flaring is doing its shutdown thing. No big pops from the active regions as the big boys depart up north, having gone silent for days, leaving only smaller spots that are lacking mixing potential at the time being. Things are finally calming down back at Earth as well as the solar wind speed continues dropping out for a second day as the corona hole stream finally reaches its end. Earth's sensitive flux, nicely high up off the floor with the low KP index indicating our magnetic shield is recovering nicely. So we have a perfectly Earth-facing coronal hole. But after its IMF triggered a couple quakes days ago, the hole itself hasn't produced. Once again, we'll see ISWA looking for the bulb of the coronal hole and not finding one. According to NASA, this thing might as well not even be there. And when you see the coronal fields collapsing around that opening, you can understand why it might not have been very influential. Top quake the last day was a 5.8 that did hit 6 on a couple readers. Couple moderate tremors east and west as well, including a potential earth spot rumble. Power low nearly over top of that quake zone. South America getting involved a bit as well. Arctic ice back to nearing the lower end of satellite observations, but still above the record lows, as the ice down in Antarctica has set a new high ice record every day for the last month, which is crazy. I'm sure many of you have seen today's top link, Atmospheric Gravity Waves Mapped. This will be one of a couple great topics on today's Fly on the Wall episode. The podcast will be posted in a few hours in the premium content of suspiciousobservers.org, Membership is 3 bucks a month or 20 bucks for a whole year if you sign up before June 1st. And that also locks in the price for the life of the account. Also folks, June 1 ends pre-registration for Observing the Frontier. Top scientists on the forefront of changing scientific understanding. And Pittsburgh in the fall? Forget about it. Wrapping up weather as the typhoon out in the open water is beautiful, but luckily going to miss Japan after having taken on Guam and some other islands in the West Pacific. In the United States, we have more tornadoes dropping already, and that's going to continue with this system bringing heat and moisture up onto the land tonight. Check your local forecasts after lunch today. In Europe, we've still got the northern lows drenching Scandinavia, but also the southern low has now organized and is a major storm and flash flood threat down there. High pressure clearing most of this area, but a low in convergence in the southwest clips land and then curls down around and back up to New Zealand. Folks, please remember we are on baby watch. When the baby is born, I'll almost certainly be missing the morning news that day, so that's how you'll know she's arrived. Time running out to lock in membership price at suspiciousobservers.org and get pre-registration discounts for observing the frontier in Pittsburgh this October. These are your current conditions, followed by shots of our star to close. It's 5.50 a.m. Eastern Time, and that's the news. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.